What's going on, everybody? Crazy video today. This comes out published January 26, four days ago from the time I'm doing this video. Federal investigator lost job after baseball card addiction led him to moonlight as an Amazon and Uber driver. Crazy story. Comes off a of market watch. Uh, somebody sent me this off their phone, so I clipped this first part so you guys can see it. We're going to move on to the article itself, talk about it, talk about it if you have an addiction and it's out of control as well, too. Hopefully you guys can uh, get some help if you do have an extreme addiction out there. No pun on the extreme part. All right. I'm trying to see if I can blow this up some. I guess I can't. All right. It's a cautionary tale for anyone whose collecting habit has maybe gotten a bit out of hand. First sentence, out of hand. A now former federal agent blew up his career by getting caught using his government car to moonlight as an Amazon Uber driver to help sustain his baseball card addiction. Guys, if this is something you're doing right now and you need help, reach out. It can be to me or anybody out there before you get yourself in some trouble like this here. It's just crazy. A government car has government plates. You can't miss them. Signing up for Uber, I know you have to give demographics your car, probably take pictures, clean how clean it is, plates, and you have to put an Uber little sticker decal thing on it. How he did all this was just besides me. But when I worked in the, for uh, the Army, well, I still work for the Army, but when I was still working for uh, the recruiting agency I was working for with the Army, you heard stories across the board of guys doing stuff that was off the wall like why would you do this until you you could read about it you could see it or you could read about it hear about it whatever it may be but until you see it and know somebody got in trouble for it it's like one of those breathtaking like is it really mythical like a unicorn or the Loch Ness monster I'm only here to tell you guys from being around for a long time and always like does this stuff really happen it does it really does all right, let's get into the story here. The man's out of Mesa, Arizona. He was sentenced this week to two years of probation in order to pay back $134,000. The government argued he had misappropriated by working his sign line gigs while on a job. I can just see it now. This is Uber 37, Uber 37. Oh, I've got Marcy in the car right now. Then all of a sudden his job calls for, it'll say here a minute, it's Homeland Security call him. Hey, we need uh, assistance here. Officer involved chase going on. He's like, oh, man, guys, I'm uh, out here uh, talking with somebody named Marcy. I mean, how do how you not get caught? It's crazy. I, it's just mind-blowing right now. All right. So the gentleman had been assigned, I'm sorry, has been a special agent for the Department of Homeland Security for more than a decade in Arizona when his finances and marriage began falling into ruin Due to his out-of-control habit of buying baseball cards, the documents said. So basically, the court documents say this. Guys, again, reaching out to anybody out there. If this is, if you're in some kind of addiction with sports cards and breaking and all that and you need help, reach out. I'll talk to you. Find somebody out there before it ruins your marriage, your job, and your career. I'm being straightforward with you. We all... I kind of fall into that part every now and then. I did early on, but I didn't go over my limits ever. I might have spent my limit way early for a month, but I never fell deeper into it. It's just like gambling and everything else. You've got to set a limit if you're going to do it and want to have fun doing it. So again, if you're having this issue, you think you're falling into it, you need to reach out to me or any, find somebody out there you can talk to. Please do it before it ruins your life. All right, psychologists classify uncontrollable collecting as the type of behavior addiction as a type of behavior addiction similar to compulsive gambling, compulsive eating, compulsive video game playing or shopping or sex addiction. Wow. That's just insane. An addiction to collecting could manifest itself in the buying of anything from fine art to model trains. Guys, again, this is coming out from doctors. They got that little PhD thing. So, they're saying it. It's wrote down. I agree with pretty much everything except for the last probably statement on to it. But hey, maybe it is true too. All right. Starting in 2019, the gentleman began working on side delivering packages for Amazon. 
and driving passengers for service like Uber and Lyft help pay off his spiral credit card debts. That's the court documents saying that. The financial strain from his collecting habit put heavy pressure on his marriage and led him and his wife to attend couples counseling, the records show. Federal prosecutors say that over the next two years, the gentleman, a father of four, regularly worked his other jobs while he was on the clock as an investigator, during which time he frequently used his government-issued car to deliver packages and ferry ride or ferry ride share passengers. He also had the government pay for the gas. Dude, you just cut everywhere across the board. You were not smart about even trying to, you know, do it. You just left everything out there so that you could get busted. Wow. He was charged in October and pled guilty right away to the charge of theft of government property, court records show. As part of his plea, the gentleman agreed to resign from his post. As a result of the conviction, the gentleman has forfeited much of his salary during the time period of his job on, on the job criminal activity, and as a federal felon, he'll never lawfully possess or use a firearm again. Crazy. His dire election of duty was a grave disservice to his hard-working law enforcement colleagues and the taxpayers alike. Before joining the Department of Homeland Security in 2010, the gentleman worked as a federal air marshal, a federal and Arizona prison guard, and had served in the Air Force, spending time in Iraq. No one knew the hobby of collecting would turn into an addiction. His mother wrote in a letter to the judge, he is willing to pay the fine and has the support of all of his family. He has already lost his job and his pension. Please don't punish him more. That's what they're saying. It's not what I'm saying offhand. But other than that, they tried to reach out to his attorney, but it wasn't immediately returned. So craziness, guys. Craziness out there. Again, I'll leave a link to this in the description if you guys want to read it, bookmark it, whatever it is out there. Not here to, uh, you know, like some of the videos poke at people and stuff like that there. But seriously, if you guys have an addiction to sports cards and it's taken the better control of your life and your finances and stuff, and you don't want to reach out to friends or family and you just want to hit me up on email and talk and try to maybe come up with a plan or something, I'm willing to help you out. I'm not going to give you money and stuff to get you out of your debts and stuff like that. But I'm here if you need a voice of somebody that doesn't like personally know you and you just want to get something off your chest. I mean, you can go do the same thing with a priest or pastor or whatever, too. But just an option out there. Keep your stuff under control. Don't lose everything in your life you've worked hard for over addiction to sports cards. All right, guys. That's it for this video. A little bit longer than anything, but I wanted to make sure that if anybody else is having an addiction out there or an issue with that stuff, you can feel free to reach out to me. Reach out to anybody in the community. Uh, if you could join a Discord, maybe message people on there if you want somebody else to talk to. Because um, sometimes, you know, you have that persona or guilt of trying to bring it up with friends that are close and family because you feel embarrassed, ashamed, whatever it may be. There's, there's other people you can talk to for help out there. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Appreciate you for watching. Take care. See you next one.